Stop what? Stressed. <laughs> what? No, there's no way it's me. There's no, like, it's on my case. Last season was, was a bit of a roller coaster. Obviously, we had expectations. Oh, I told you. I'm talking. I'm going. Yeah! yeah! We didn't start how we wanted to start. If you think that's good enough, that's We're in this to win the league. Just click this. When we win at the end of the season. Yes, guys, and welcome to RB's podcast. You're here with uh, the gaffer, Ohms. Yeah, it's Toby, a big Tobes, Maguire, Skip, oh. I'm a, with uh, Lil Mo. AKA Baby Shark. Josh, no nickname, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Ohms, what uh, league do I'll be playing? So at the moment, we're playing Step 6, um, Combine County Division 1, which is a Surrey District League. Yeah. Soon to be Step 5. Soon to be Step 5, that's it. What kind of football do you want to play next season? Um, so without giving too much away, we're always going to keep possession of the ball. We're going to play high intensity, um, very attractive football. Last season, we had moments where we dipped in and out of it. But this season, you're in for a real surprise, a real treat. Boys, talk us through last season. Tough one. Who wants to go first? Um, it's a lot to talk about. Last season was, was a bit of a roller coaster. Obviously, we had expectations and we didn't start how we wanted to start. Um, you know, at the beginning, the boys we'd done the pre-season with, some boys chose to leave. Some boys um, didn't give us their all from the start. So it was a tough start. I think by the time we, we found a little bit of a balance, had the two coaches leave, obviously personal issues and whatnot. So by the time me and Mo come in, it was kind of a rebuilding phase, you know. It's such a unique thing, like with obviously Maz, <laughs> I, from, I, I, never, I was never played under him, but he, he seemed like, like, obviously everyone says he's a brilliant coach and obviously the lads that were there last season, he had a brilliant team. But then to take all that out, the coaching staff out, to take all the players, I think is it Youssef and Bilal B, B, B here, the only players who stayed? Yeah, probably, and B. Like, to take all that out and go again, like listen, we, this isn't, this isn't, we're not here trying to make excuses and stuff, but it's, it's such a long process and then you know you've got the likes of you boys coming in what 17 yeah what i think we how old were you boys when you first came to training when i first came i think i was 16 yeah 16. 16. and ne never played any men's football before never and listen brilliant footballers academy players but to, to, that transition is massive isn't it? isn't it absolutely absolutely and this is the importance of retaining players because maz fantastic coach um you know you, you look at even in the professional game May United losing Fergie, Arsenal losing Wenger. You lose core figures, and I think a lot of people don't, they don't understand what's coming. So it took a while, you know, it took a while. The addition of, the, of these two was fantastic, along with some of the other boys. Um, I don't know how they felt about, you know, being introduced into the team and slowly getting, you know, starting stomping your ground in that team. When you come into a men's environment, I think it's all about. Not even first impression, but you, as a young player, you mm. want to like show the rest of the older players like this is what I can do, yeah. and kind of yeah, like, take take your position into the into the side. But I think you know, if training and just the first few kind of weeks into a men's environment is completely different to being in an academy. Yeah, well, you saw it, didn't you? I mean, was it was it was it back shot? Then like. No, but, no, no, but no, listen, no, but do you know what it is? It's testament to you because, it, yeah, I, yeah, I don't know if anyone remembers, the ball came out from a corner, the geezer rolled you and he scored. But I think the same thing happened next week. You stood him up and delayed and then we got back in. Okay. But, but it, it's those tiny little things and it is such a unique thing with Barbie because it's not, it's not like an affiliated football club. We're not an affiliated football club where it's like the, uh, the whole aim is that we get people to come down to watch our games and it's get promoted. There's so much else to it. It's yeah. we're trying to bring through young players. So we're trying to get that balance of bring through young players and them improve and them go and do brilliant things like Inner Man's done and um, like Youssef doing at Wigan. But they're also trying to achieve that aim. So it's like a lot of the boys will see it as a stepping stone and the brand want it to be a stepping stone. But at the same time, you've got to try and achieve that of, of going high. So it's, uh, yeah, it's, for me as well, I, well I'm, I'm 25, I've never been part of something which is so unique. I mean, I've loved it. It's been probably one of the most enjoyable seasons of my career, but it is such a unique and a different opportunity in it. There's so many different challenges, but also they're good challenges because we get brilliant young talent that not normal football clubs don't get. For Josh and me, uh, we've seen a former RB player literally go from playing in step six to making his debut in a championship all within a year. As a young player, how does that make us feel? Um, I think I'll go on this one. It's good to see showing that someone in the same team and the same league that you played in 
has developed into uh, a good side within the championship. Um, seen him making his, showing his ability, like at the academy and then stepping onto the first team definitely gives me confidence. I'm sure it gives you confidence as well. I think just motivation. I think definitely, yeah. A lot of players, when you're young, get released from the academy. Yeah. Like, you think, oh, that's it. Like, it's over. You've got to start again. Oh. You fall out, like fall out of love. With the game, yeah. It's just motivation. Like anyone can do it. No matter. 16, 17, 15, it doesn't, doesn't really matter. Exactly. Yeah. That's just a start for you two boys. Like, yeah. That is just a start. You're like, you know, um, I think you to be 17 and doing what you're doing, um, <coughs> Josh, you played a lot this season. Mo, I think this season coming up for you is, like I said, I, I put you in the best player I've ever played with. Not yet, but I, I genuinely think potentially. And it could have been either of you two. It re, no, it really could have. It was, um, but. I, I really think it's the start for you two. Never be ashamed to say you want to play in the Prem. Never be like, they never think you're not good enough to say that you want to play in the Prem because, you know, like, like you've seen with Youssef. And uh, how old was Youssef when he was here? Anyone know? He was 17 as well. 15, 17, yeah. You know, what it's done is it's opened the doors for, for young boys like yourself and obviously the other, the other young boys we've got. I think the last, if I remember correctly, the last 12 games, you know, I won't reel off what teams, but I think there was about nine teams from Conference Prem to the Premier League that had come down and watched you two and Jamal. And it's all because of rising ballers have that platform. Rising ballers have the likes of Iliman, the likes of Youssef, who have gone on. And then all it takes is one, there was a Premier League club actually, they come to watch in the Langley game. And by the end of it, they fell in love with Josh. Alfonso Davies. Yeah. They fell in love with Josh. And what happens from there is, it's his, him talking to the next guy who maybe he might not think Josh is Premier League cap one ready, we'll say. So he speaks to his friend and he comes down to watch Josh and thinks, wow, what a player. But then sees Mo win a pen against Deportivo and thought, wow, what a young man. And then they come back and watch and they tell their friends and then they saw Jamal on the wing. And it was a domino effect and that's what happens. And then it's like, everyone's talking amongst the, because it's the professional game or the academy game is such a small, su such a small world. So you get so many people and then it's like, wow, this is what rising ballers are doing. This is what RB can do. This is what they have. And I've spoke to people in the game now. They're excited for the season to see what not just you three are bringing, but the next generation. You know, you're, you, you look at Torin. Torin done the whole preseason with us and come to the start of the season, went and signed at Peterborough. So we didn't even have the chance to let him, you know, grace the, the rising baller's shirt. Yeah, next, next kind of question. Um, funniest moment of the season. Oof. This could be on the pitch, behind the scenes, like... There's a lot of funny moments. There are some funny there moments. Fun <laughs> Quite a Youssef, few. one of the most unintentionally funny people I've ever met. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like, anyone who watches YouTube, this boy can strike a ball. Yeah. This boy can strike, like, he, he's brilliant striker ball, but some of them, <laughs> some of them that don't get shown... <laughs> <laughs> they get pretty wild. What was that one at, uh... Bag shot. Bag shot. <laughs> There's not one like. Yeah, it's just been, it's just been yeah, so I think jokes. It's a We've spent so much time together this season. Like, I've seen you boys more than I've seen my mum. You know, when we're doing we're doing like video analysis and stuff yeah. like that. Like we had back to back uh, games as well. Yeah, back to back games, like training twice a week. Yeah. It, it, it the whole whole thing has been so jokes. Yes. Like, and that's what I mean. It's like it's not just on the pitch. It's, it's the, the whole season has been like mm. it has been quality. I know results wise, it hasn't been there, but. But the group that we've had, it's, yeah. it, it's been a different group. We, we, we've had some characters. We've had some characters. Santos? Santos getting sent off twice in a week has to be one of the so he got, funniest. He got red, got banned, but he got another red before the ban came in. So he's banned for like, what was it, six, seven weeks? Yeah, I think seven. So we're away to Berks County, right? We, I think we're one nil up. And the whole half team, probably 13 minutes, 12, 13 minutes, is has. Please stop making fouls. Santos, don't get another yeah. yellow. Has, please, and that's all it is. You two, please, please. That's the only thing stopping us. Right. Gone and done it. 46th minute, foul on the edge of the box, which was inside the yeah, box. Like, Goal. Mm. Think 50th minute, yellow card, Santos, red card, bosh. Bosh. Do you know what? I think for me, the funniest moments, and this is me having to bite my lip, and it's away from our team, some of the decisions in terms of refereeing decisions. The Zach's goal, one of the best goals you'll ever see in your life. Right, one of the best goals gets ruled out for nothing, for nothing. BA is one, ridiculous. And wait, two, not one, two mistaken identity red cards. Two. Oh, 
a funny moment at Jermaine with a ball. Oh, yeah, right. Nah, because I've never seen a violation like it. That guy had to go home to his family. Nah, Jermaine's got a few of them. Jermaine can yeah, do yeah, a real yeah. one. Nah, he's, he's got a few. So going off that, boys, what's everyone's highlight of last season? Could be as a team, could be your individual moment or whatever it was. We'll go, go, go with Toby first. One each. One? Yeah, one each. One each. Tough to give one, team actually. But I would have to say um, my goal at Langley. Um, it's close with Deportivo. Um, because I loved that game for Deportivo. Me and Dino had a big falling out at half time, and then he goes and scores two, and we, we get a clean sheet, we beat top of the league. But Langley, the goal, and just the importance of it, and it was, it sort of showed that I, I do have a bit of a technical side to me as well. Um, yeah, uh, that was probably one of the best moments of, That's of why my they need career. Why recording training, isn't it? <laughs> three nut makes last, season, last night. Yeah, three nut makes last night. In but, rondos, uh, rondos. Yeah, rondos. Mo. Um, Mo, Mo, Mo. Uh, individually, I think a goal against Ascot, a team that went on to win FA in the Vars. FA Vars Cup in Wembley, I think came on, showed my decent ability, scored a goal, yeah, I think. And got a standing ovation, leaving. Yeah, first goal, men, men's football, yeah. was good. I think a team, collectively, I think it was Langley at home. I think it just showed our character. Yeah, I think it showed our character, like, Toby's goal, the way we celebrated, Torreira's goal as well. Like everyone's yeah. performance that day like showed our real ability. Yeah. What are you, Josh? Um, for a personal one, I'd say probably man the match against Langley, I think. Um, yeah. Like one of my sixth or seventh men football games. Um, yeah, just good performance, I think, obviously, like you mentioned, attracting attention from clubs. Um, There's a stat, right, that I've figured out myself. The first team, I can't remember who it was, but it was early in the season. But we, whoever was top when we played them, we beat them. Beat Deportivo top, Langley top, Sandhurst top. And there was one more at the beginning. I can't remember if it was BA or Eversy. Anyway, one of them. Um, but they're huge compliments for Sandhurst to come to our place, um, beating them 2-0. It was 2-0, wasn't it? Yeah, beating them 2-0 absolutely popped them, popped them off the park and they were a fantastic team. Um, going to Rainer's Lane after just getting drummed by them um, and beating them 3-2 up, 2-0 down, 3-2 up, conceded in the last second of the game. You, any other team, right, any other team go into that penalties and they've got no bottle and every single one of you lot was up for it, up for the penalties. Toby's penalty, great. None of them, none, none of us missed, in it? Yeah. And, uh, so and, and won the game. You know, great test of character. Torreira scoring against Lang. Torreira celebrates for me all the time. I don't know why. Uh, but <laughs> he I loves love it, him. doesn't he? Shows you know what I mean? Westside, affection. last game of the season, dead game. Yeah, straight dead game. over. Nothing to play for, straight over, my boy. No, I love that though. Um, yeah. Shows the passion. I think for me, and I, I think unfortunately, none of you three were involved in it, was probably the FA Vars win against, um, was it Spellform? So I actually went to watch them twice beforehand and done so much homework on them. And obviously was just the assistant at the time. Um, although Gilbert, you know, me and Gilbert are like brothers, you know, we I done so much homework on them. I sent him like three pages of just, this is how we're going to win the game. And Dino was a centre midfielder at the time. And I said, we win this game if Dino goes, goes up front. Simple as that. We went into a, a random formation, which was a 4-3-2-1. Um, something we'd never done before and the boys executed it to a top level. And again, Dino won us, Dino and then, and then Kevin's magic at the end. And again, it was all the boys coming over, celebrating with us. This is a team that was mid table of step five and you showed exactly why you should be at that level. Do you know what I mean? So um, that was probably my highlight of, of the season. While we're on that, who is staying? Obviously we've seen a lot of the players you've mentioned are not here, who, who will be here? Um, some of the boys are 50-50, so we, we ain't counting them in um, unless, you know, you give us the 100%. And again, it's so crucial to keep a core group. And other than Sandhurst, we were defensively the best team, best team in the league, right? Uh, we just had an issue with scoring goals. So we've managed to keep six of the defenders. Mo Abdi, Jermaine, Toby, Zach, Josh, Azar. Um, along with Youssef, if you want to add him in that uh, defensive role, Youssef Torreira, Mo, Baby Shark, Bilal, BK, and Jack Sterling, and, ja and Jamal. Um, yeah. 
a good group. Fantastic wow. group. I've been involved in football a very, very, very long time. Right, believe it or not, I might look 22, 23, but um, it's been, the, honestly, it's been the best dressing room that I've been in. In terms of talent, it's, it's ridiculous. Ridiculous talent there, but it's been the best dressing room for character, for banter. Um, yeah, we, we won't go into it too much, but it's been great. Most underrated player? It's tough, that, isn't it? Go on, Mo. Let's hear your one first. Most underrated player? Um, that is a very tough decision because I feel like everyone is fairly rated, mm. but underrated player. For me, it's a no-brainer. Mo Abdi. I was just oh, about to say Mo. Yeah. Technically, yeah, yeah, yeah. unbelievable, right? I've seen this guy bring the ball out of the sky in his stride. First touch, perfect. Um, some of the clips he's get, got this season. Yeah, yeah. Some of the clips he's Filthy. got are ridiculous. And you know what? His attitude is, is perfect. Mo Abdi is not much older than you two, but this is a, a young boy that you can learn a lot from. You know, the mess he messages me when he's not in the team. He doesn't sock around. He comes to support. He asks what I need to do to improve. Um, you know, I've sent him things from academies where this is as a fullback what you need to be doing, and he'll do it. And then call me five games later and be like, "Did you notice I was doing that?" that, that. And I was like, "Yeah, I noticed it." You know, and he does the dirty side of the game as well. He does the dirty side. Oh, he's, yeah. he's, he's techie. He's, he's very, he's... very techie. When was the one-two? He, he, he turned, played a one-two, and then won the penalty. That was Woodley, I think. In oh yeah, no, no, no. No, was a Wood, few. Woodley was the Dino's outside of the football. To him, it was, yeah, it was one at North Greenford, but yeah, he's he, he, he's had a few. To be fair, I think he's won about three or four pens this season. Yeah. I would say Zach, but only because he's rated as in between us. But mm. I think in terms of like camera and what the fans see, yeah, like, there's not like clips. Or the, no, they are to be fair. No, listen, anyone watching this. Zach is a player. Yeah, he's a player. Like, he's a proper player. Zach's all right. Player. He's okay. Listen, he's all not right. going anywhere no, yet, no, but no. he is a player. Left that. foot, right Zach, foot. Yeah. He's class. My mates come to watch. Sometimes with about 15 of them, they'll come down to watch and watch from afar. And they're hard to please. And they all love Zach. Every single one of them. Play him anywhere. The most Wherever versatile player I think yeah. I've ever played with. Yeah, yeah, Wherever yeah. you want. Left foot, Very right foot. And like, it, just perfect attitude. Yeah. Um, Next question. I think we have to be careful what we say here. Uh, funniest player? We have to be funniest careful. Funniest player when they play? It's very easy. Or funniest? It's four letters. Funniest player like off the pitch? <laughs> funniest player? Ah, uh, Jermaine. Jermaine. Jermaine's funniest player. Come on. Do you know what? Um, Jermaine, I think Jermaine's funniest for the older group, right? Yeah. But he's unintentionally yeah, funny. Yeah, yeah, he's funny. Yeah, yeah. He's Borat funny. You <laughs> 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 so Borat funny. I like it, you. Right guys, uh, Josh has got to head off to work, so I'm just going to uh, shoot off some f quick fire questions. Uh, starting with fastest player, Josh. It's me. There's, there's no discussion. I don't think there's no discussion, but... We're going to talk, uh, just, do you yeah. want to tell about what happened last night at training? Yeah, what happened last yeah, we night? We had a race, a few cheated, a few wanted to creep before we started, <laughs> but I would back myself to say... So who won that race? Won. I don't even want to say it, mate. Jams won. Okay. Oh, wow. Next question. <laughs> uh, <laughs> slowest player? Night right next to me. Um, yes. Me? What? <laughs> no way, it's me. It's, <laughs> it's Toby, bro. He <laughs> even, he even no, said it earlier. Going, There's I'm no yeah, way it's me. Going, it's bro, I'm telling no, no, you're tight. Love it, bro. Honestly, so is player. I would, I would personally say. You can say it's me, bro. It's nah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Worst dressed. What? No, there's no way it's me. There's not. Like, he's on my case. Like, get off me. Get off me. There's no way it's me. Okay, Mo Worst dressed. Thing, yeah. he'll, he'll come to training and he'll like wear McQueen's or come on. One time. Wait, wait, wait. wait, footballers watching this, we know. Come on, McQueen's to training is crazy. It was an analysis. <laughs> with, with his school shirt and. No, wait, wait. No, there's no way. I, I did not wear a school shirt. Oh, like, you, you know what, though? You do, you do turn up in school uniform. To hey, no, no, what about Azza's headpiece? Can we talk about that? Azza, what is Oh, the pink headpiece. Pink head, head, oh, the, the shower cap. That? Oh, God, That's it. Guys, stay in tune for next season. Big things coming up. And yeah, I'm out. Model. See you later, mate. See you later, mate. Get home safe. If <laughs> sacks you, just give me a shout. F.A. Voss, uh, what would it mean to get to the final and play at Wembley? Oof. Big question. Uh, to play, I mean, 
absolutely uh, that everything, everything. I mean, that would be the, it's the pinnacle of any sort of non-league player's career, really. Um, and if we want it as a captain to lift that, would be yeah, it doesn't even bear thinking about. It, to be fair, um, but we're, you, like you're only ever what is it, eight or nine games away every season. Mm -hmm. And the thing, the thing with RB is quite exciting is because of the talent that's there and because of the pool, because of the reach, there's an opportunity every season for us to have an unbelievable team. Yeah. Like, like Maz did and like, the, you know, like we've had with the some players this season. Well, yeah, like there, there is always that potential. We won the first game against higher opposition. I think if you, any football player, manager, whatever it is that's been brought up in England, go into Wembley to play football in a competitive, because some people do it for charity and that, but in a competitive game, it, 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 yeah, it's, it's a no-brainer. So moving forward, what are the expectations for the upcoming season? We, like I said before, we, we're in this to win the league, right? We need to be playing step five for everything. For me individually, um, for us as a brand, for us as a club, for you as players, we're here to win the league, right? And that's when it comes to recruitment, that's what we're bringing in. Um, personally, I would love you boys to lift a trophy. Best dressed player? Uh, I just want to talk about um, trainers today. Um, obviously, that's all we can sort of go off, really. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm sponsored by Puma, so yeah. I have to, I have to wear them. <laughs> so I'm sponsored by Nike. <laughs> Uh, best dress, Zeke was good last season, like we said. Yeah. Sky, yes, yes. Sky yes, is yes I was going to say well. Sky, every, every time turns up wearing... Free like, Frost, anyway. Huh? Free Frost. <laughs> no, <laughs> honestly, Sky, shout out to Sky. I always compliment on what he's wearing. Every time he's... he's now, Sean he's comes cold. with a bit of flair sometimes. Yes. yes. He's yeah, yeah, yeah. man, isn't it? Nah, he right. comes but with a bit of flair sometimes. Cameraman Sean sometimes has to wear like boots with him and stuff. <laughs> like He's wearing Adidas boots with his <laughs> nice cold fit. Show them, show them. Hey! Hey! Show them, show them the Zeke. This who we got this season that's well dressed? B B Lau B K got uh, awful yet. dress code. No. I think, think Sergio's gonna come with. Yes. I think Sergio's gonna come with a bit of Where spice is he's this gone season. Up Where, is yeah. he Brazilian? No, I think he's Portuguese. No, no, he's from France. I think he might be really half. He's, he's got maybe. a bit of something like Nando's. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think he's half French. A bit of like, isn't few like hips and stuff. You can yeah. tell. That's you can tell with his. I showed him. Showed him a few of us. He did a little coif turn yesterday. I thought, yeah, he can dance. Yeah, yeah, he can move. Just a little bit of. Perry Perry. Summit, yeah, get yeah. me in Nando's toilets. Give him <laughs> um, Mate, what's going on here? <laughs> yes! Zach! Come here, mate! Wow. Wait, alright, who's speaking of the devil? Cams, Jams is down. Can we have a look at this transformation? Super fantastic. Like, you know, by the your, way. Uh, he didn't, I didn't recognise him last night. <laughs> he was leading the run, by the way. He was running away from me. Best dressed, worst dressed. Best dressed. Can you vote yourself? <laughs> One outfit the other night on Insta. I see it. I see it. Nah, joking. Um, probably give it to Zach. Like. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Can you Zach, give it to can Zach. Zach that? Still. I'm alright. Yeah. yeah. Got a bit. Yeah. Zach, Zach can pull it off on a good day. Um, worst dressed. Don't be shy. I might lose a friend. Um, <laughs> I was, hey, don't, don't do it, bro. I never said that. Um, who would I say worst dressed is? Everyone's got, everyone's That's got, what I yeah, say. Everyone's, everyone's got, got a right dress. Everyone's doing their thing, innit? So I'm not going to draw no one out on that one. <laughs> what about funniest moment of the season? Funniest moment of the season? Oh, I, I, my mind's gone blank. Cam's getting injured in a warm-up against Eversley oh. and his debut back. <laughs> well, Cam's, have you done your initiation? He, he might as well do it now. Yeah. <laughs> Cam's ain't new, you know. Cam's ain't new. Happened all of us. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Cam's is original. What was your highlight of the season? Highlight. Yeah. In whatever individual or as a team, whatever it is. Um, as a team, I just think the games where you put in good performances. I think against Spellfall and we played very good. Um, See, I heard me outside. Well, is, that, is that what you said? <laughs> said two, nah, literally, I enjoyed that game a lot. Uh, the goal that got disallowed, that would have been my biggest, Mate, you, you know what I mean? I'm telling you. What he said that as well. Nah, nah, you lot been speaking before this. Yeah, the goal that got disallowed, that would have been beautiful for me, but obviously, 
It is what it at is. least the camera caught it, isn't it? Yeah, at least the camera caught it. That's that's what Yusuf said to me, yeah. you know. He said, Zach, don't worry. They caught it for you. <laughs> mid game. <laughs> Literally mid game. <laughs> mid game while we're drawing. Literally. That man. header? You got a good header. Yeah, that was a good header. Who was um, that against? That was against um Hilling was that Hillingdon at home? Yeah, yeah, it was at home. Yeah, Hillingdon at home. Right boys, a uh, bit of quick fire. The first one, be careful. Okay, be careful because it's contracts. Ronaldo or Messi? Messi all day for me. I can't learn. Oh. For me, Ronaldo. Topes. Ronaldo. Camps. Messi. Skulls, Gerard or Lampard? Lamps. Topes. <laughs> Don't ask me that. Don't ask me any questions. <laughs> how many goals? How many goals? Fifth, fifth top goals for the Prem? Lampard, thank you. Mom. See you Skulls. Exactly. Gerard, all day. Do you know what it is? My dad's a Liverpool fan, so I've grown up like watching them a lot. Topes, you're always Chelsea fan, so this would be a good one. Man City versus Man United treble winners. Who was better? It's tough. I was born in 97, it happened in 99. So, uh, but I think purely because of the money side of things, I know that United did spend a lot, but I think money, uh, it's tough because I think it's harder to win a treble nowadays. No. I think it is harder now. I think it is. No, I think it's harder to win a treble. Wait, now we have a second team which would make any Premier team on top of that. Not one. I get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, I get it. But I think in you. United weren't the best team in the world that year. Bro, no, you got Barca. Madrid, Barca. No, you've got Madrid, yeah, I know, but there's you got you got all them now, and then you got more. You got Bayern who are an absolute. Anyway, quick fire. City or United? So, uh, which was better, United? Mo, no. were you old enough to see United? But no, no, you're a United fan, okay? Just that era when it was. It's harder to win for me. I have to say City, because I'm an Arsenal fan. I don't really like United. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest. So that's my answer. Camps. Definitely City. Cities, yeah? So we've got two United, two Cities. Uh, who's going to win the Premier League this year? Ooh. Se season coming? Yeah. Chelsea. Topes. <laughs> Topes. Um, I think City, unfortunately. Yeah. Zach. City for me. Mo? United. United? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, we're winning. I don't know. Nah. So, just click this. When we win at the end of the season, just... Remember who to go for. Okay, yeah, clip it. Right, this is a good one here. Would you play for your boyhood club for five grand or in Saudi for 150 grand? A week. A week. I'll start with Camps, please. <laughs> go on, I'm going Saudi. <laughs> I'm doing the same. 100%. Saudi, yeah. yeah, Saudi. Most guys Saudi for three grand, isn't it? <laughs> what, what, what's the age? Who's your boyhood club what? first? Yeah. United. Not Raja. Um, yeah, definitely Raja. Would you play for Raja? Yeah, 100%. For five grand a week or Saudi, 150 grand? Depends what age. Now? Yeah, yeah now Raja, 100%. Yeah, so 100%. you go back to Morocco. Definitely I'd play for Ch Chelsea, yeah, definitely. Right now, I'm going Saudi. Right now, I'm old. Saudi's <laughs> popping, a lot of players are going, so. Uh, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm a Madrid fan, mate. I would love to play for Madrid. Any day of the week. Zach, Mbappe or Haaland? Yeah. Mbappe. He's, Mbappe is the better player, but Haaland is the better striker for me. Topes? Um, I am going Mbappe. Mo? I'm going Mbappe as well. Mbappe. Mbappe yeah. um, it's just on the worst dressed, um, uh, someone's just turned up wearing uh, their school uniform. Um, <laughs> the brother's smooth, you know? <laughs> He's too strapping it as well. You got his books in the bag. Mate, do you know the muscles under that shirt, bro? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ronaldo or Messi? Ronaldo. Skulls, Gerard or Lampard? Gerard. City or United to treble, who was better? City. Who's going to win the Premier League season? Arsenal. <laughs> <laughs> Would you play for Arsenal for five grand a week or go to Saudi for 150 grand? Arsenal, five grand a week. Good man. Oh, Saudi, yeah, little practice. Uh, nah. <laughs> uh, fastest player? I would probably say as, I'll probably say as, but I think I'm faster than him. How did we say you? Huh? I, haven't, I haven't raced Sorry. him. My recovery pace is crazy. Like, when, not, <laughs> not when it comes to racing, but on pitch, I when, think When I you think know you've got to make a challenge. Yeah. Did you ask me that question? Fastest player, you didn't, did you? No, I didn't. <laughs> no, okay. Well, yeah, as, no brain as. Really? 100%. As Myself. 100%. <laughs> I was thinking yesterday when they had the race, I was like, Jamal cannot be the fastest hit. And then I remembered. I don't, I don't know, you know, because I haven't really seen you run like that. 
powerful. I'll be honest. Is it? I'll give it to him, man. Slowest player. Slowest player. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? No, <laughs> slowest player, alright, cool. I'm quite slow, isn't it? I'll be honest with you. You, got you, you don't, yeah, you're a keeper, bro. Actually, I don't think I'm the slowest, you know. You weren't moving like it yesterday. <laughs> um, slowest player, Toby. Yeah. Toby. <laughs> yeah, I have to say Toby. Is that already? <laughs> <laughs> Toby, I'm going to give it to you as well, bro. Jeez, I'm sorry. Bro. Hold. Pause. Oh, <laughs> 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 yeah, definitely Toby. Yeah, come on. Calm down, bro. You guys are definitely. Man. They're just my name. <laughs> so that's so that what are your aspirations for next season? Win everything. Personally and as a team. Win everything. Surely. Yeah? Yeah. Just literally, all the cops. More training sessions? 100%. <laughs> on time as well? We'll get back to that one. <laughs> <laughs> it comes from the furthest, doesn't it? Is that yeah, personal yeah. And, and team aspirations for next season? Uh, definitely promotion, if that's through playoffs or winning it all. And personally, just, just keep improving as well, training, all of that. Um, personal, to just like stay fit for the whole season and um, I want to keep the most clean sheets in the league this season. I actually really want to show what I can do this season um, and team, hopefully we just get promoted. That's it, yeah. Yeah, big one. Like We've seen glimpses what you can do, Cam. I like, mm. definitely think that if you, like, as centre-backs, like, to have a good goalkeeper behind this is massive. That's saving like, training, by the way. Listen, some of the stuff we've crazy. seen you do, and, and you can distribute as well. So if you can stay fit, I mean, we'd love it. And you, you come and claim and stuff. So that's I think that's... Start, isn't it? Yeah. Huh? It's a great start, bro. Yeah, awesome um, yeah. crikey, yeah. Um, yeah, we'd love to have you uh, as a staple in at the back, definitely. definitely. We were good defensively last year, but standards, well, I think we could be, we could have been better. And yeah. Like you said, most clean sheets. I think we were up there with um, least amount of goals conceded, but I, I still think that we can hit new levels. I don't want to concede a goal this season. I know, that's like, do you know what I mean? But mm. that's the, that's obviously we are going to. But that's the, that's where I want to be. I don't want us to concede. I don't want us to concede the first game, second. It, and I said this to the guys earlier, like, we've got to take one game at a time, but we need to be going to every game thinking we need to get a clean sheet here. And like, we don't want to be conceding a shot. We, you know, we yeah. don't want to make it, like, we don't want to concede a shot. And yeah, hopefully that's where the standard is this season and, and we, can, uh, we can get close to that. Thank you, boys. I don't even need a mic, do I? I got one. Yeah. Thank you, boys, for your time. Uh, some of you are going to go have your, your photos taken. Thank you everybody for, for watching. Um, hopefully we'll do this again sometime and get to know the boys a bit better. Wish us luck. It's going to be a good season. See you again soon. Come on, RB. Come on, RB. The boys. Come on, boys. Smashed it. That was decent enough. I wish you did it every week, bro. <laughs>